the logo on the side of the road is a big number one. We've been the first in many regards. This particular type of gasification was the first of its kind. Uh, the CO2 compressors uh, were really one of the first, first of their kind. The ammonium sulfate process, and even in the new urea plant, um, you know, it's a, it's a fairly common technology, but we're applying the latest and greatest uh, to that. So, you know, we feel like we've always been on the, on the cutting edge. The plant started up with uh, virtually all focused on natural gas as, as the primary product. Gasification has a tremendous potential. Uh, to, it, it produces raw feedstocks that can be converted into a, into a number of different products. We've got liquids that, that are naturally produced here, co-products, that uh, we have tar oil that goes into the fuels market, uh, naphtha, uh, phenol, chrysilic acid that go into the, into the chemical industries, uh, liquid nitrogen uh, for, for oil recovery or for uh, cooling medium. Uh, Krypton xenon gas. I think we've applied a fair amount of ingenuity into what we've done. Um, so, for example, uh, we recover an ammonium sulfate fertilizer, which is actually part of our flue gas desulfurization system. So, the, the sulfur, the SO2 that is in a stack, we recover that SO2 with an ammonia based solution and form an ammonium sulfate fertilizer. So that was actually one of the first commercial applications of that technology. And it's a good fertilizer for our region. Another, I think, very innovative thing that we did is uh, we started recovering CO2 and compressing CO2. Uh, and uh, we have a 200 mile pipeline that goes up into Canada. And we have two Canadian customers uh, that use that for enhanced oil recovery. So we've sold over 30 million metric tons of CO2 into Canada. Uh, since the inception of that project, which makes us one of the largest CO2 sequestration projects in the world. The next evolution, uh, we're actually in the process of building a urea plant. So we're going to take a portion of our anhydrous ammonia from the ammonia plant and a CO2 stream from the ammonia plant and form urea, uh, which is also, it's a granular solid fertilizer. Uh, we'll sell that in again into the kind of regional ag market. This is like Disneyland for chemical engineers.